Hi, second graders, Miss Ledgeworth here to wish you a happy week of learning. I know you're so excited to earn points for blue gold. One of the best and easiest ways to do that is to enjoy some good books and to get your content work done. So in order for you to do that, you're gonna need to have to read a little bit about hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are one of my favorite birds, especially to observe in nature. So I hope that you get the opportunity, if you haven't yet, to see a real live hummingbird. But today I wanna to share with you this fabulous story called The Little Hummingbird by Michael Nicol Yagulanas. Before we get started on this fable or parable type folk tale, I wanna share with you some incredible pictures of hummingbirds. While I review some facts, the hummingbird is amazing. Not only are they beautiful, they can also fly up to 50 kilometers, which is 31 miles per hour, and hover in midair by flapping their wings more than 50 times per second. And they are the only birds able to fly backwards. More than 350 species of this extraordinary little bird live on Earth, all in the Western Hemisphere. The hummingbird appears in the stories of many peoples, including the parables of the indigenous peoples of South, Central, and North America. Indigenous meaning the people who were there first before anybody else moved or migrated there. The hummingbird often symbolizes beauty and agility, that's the ability to move fast, as well as hope. This story of a small hummingbird determined to put out the forest fire that we're gonna read soon, is told by the Quechua people of Ecuador and Peru. The Tisimitian people, forgive me for that pronunciation, of the North Pacific describe the hummingbird as a joyful messenger. If she appears during a time of sorrow or pain, they know that healing will soon follow. The hummingbird is often thanked for bringing life-giving rain. In a story from the Pueblo people of the Southwestern United States, a hummingbird gathers clouds from the four directions in order to bring rain to douse the flames that are burning the earth. In the language of the Haida Nation of the North Pacific, the hummingbird is called Duk Duk Diyan. I'm not saying that right, bear with me. An imitation of the delicate bird's song and the sound of its beating wings. Little hummingbird in the forest and the hummingbirds in the stories of many peoples show us that it is not always the largest or loudest that can do the most good. Little Hummingbird's efforts are a reminder that the one who is not afraid to act can make the biggest difference. I want you to see if you think that lesson rings true as we hear the story of the little hummingbird. I love these illustrations. You'll have to use your imagination a little bit, but they're very cool. To the indigenous peoples of East Africa, the South American Altiplano, and the Northern Pacific Islands, you who have done so much for so long. Dedication page from the author. And who do you imagine that little guy to be? Or girl, probably the hummingbird, right? Here is the story of the great forest that caught on fire. The terrible fire raged and burned. All of the animals were afraid and fled from their homes. The elephant and the tiger ran. The beaver scurried and the frog leapt away. Above them, birds flew in panic. The creatures huddled at the edge of the forest and watched, all except for one. Make a prediction if you think that one is. Little hummingbird did not abandon the forest. She flew as fast as she could to the stream. She picked up a single drop of water in her beak. Little hummingbird flew back and let the water fall onto the ferocious fire. She 
She dashed to the stream and brought another drop, and she continued back and forth, back and forth. The other animals watched Little Hummingbird and they were frightened. What can I do, sobbed Rabbit. This fire is hot and I am scared. This fire is so big, howled Wolf, and I am so small. I can't do anything about this fire, croaked Frog. Hmm, interesting, right? That all of the other animals who are larger than Little Hummingbird were frightened and too scared to do anything about the fire. My wings will burn, cried Owl. But wait a minute, doesn't the hummingbird have wings too? Hmm. Little Hummingbird continued her work. She flew quickly, picking up more water and putting it drop by drop onto the burning forest. Finally, Big Bear said, Little Hummingbird, what are you doing? Little Hummingbird looked at the other animals. She said, I am doing what I can. And that is the end. I would love for you to take a moment to discuss with your families what you believe the lesson of the story to be. The author gave you a little clue in the excerpt that I read from the back. I'd like for you to discuss what you think the lesson is of the story and how that applies to you and your life. Have a wonderful day.